Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Scott Stadium and Charlottesville, Virginia, the setting for this incredible football battle. Ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Number seven, back Hollins fields it at the three. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Virginia's got a new man that's running the ship right now. And I get the sense that the players would run through a wall for him. There's a lot of emotion out there. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Mike six, 33. They'll bring him down at about the 23-yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. That'll bring up second and 11. We've got a second and 11. Ball on their own 23. Green nine, green nine. Green eight. Motion, 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 go. And he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. Got a man. Watch out here. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 38. Sets up a screen. Incomplete. Boy, that was a rocket. If the receiver didn't come down with it, quarterback made sure nobody else was going to come down with it either. He's got it with room to run. Steps out of bounds at the 47-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. Jones takes a handoff. Brought down to the open field. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. It's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. three-yard line a two-yard run by the halfback this safety did just a great job of reacting to the run and getting in there to make the tackle they'll line it up again on third down he's on the run and they make the stop at the eight. Third down has been the charm on this drive. It's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the 11. He's scrambling. And down he goes at the 7. And 
And this is the 12th play of the drive. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Houston and Rice in the battle for the Bayou Bucket. And for Houston, they've won two straight. Virginia, yet set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 31. The Ducks have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Jacobs gets about a yard on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 32. Looks to his receiver, first down. He's tackled at the 49. That is not easy to stop. The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep. And as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. And as you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. He's at the 40. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. Around the 28 yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Complete. He's got room. And he's taken down at about the 19-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Makes it to the 11. Eight yards on the counter there. That brings in second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He fights forward to about the 10. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Here's the eighth play of the series. out to about the nine yard line and they keep it on the ground for the first down nothing too fancy here the key is that the running back was able to convert the first down it's first down and they'll be looking for six points here slings it out there incomplete tenth play of the drive Throws it away. 
Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Quick throw out to the receiver. He'll bring him down right around the four-yard line. That play fake good for five yards. This should be an easy field goal. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's taken down at the 33. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Virginia holds a four point lead. They give to the tailback. Nice run there. We played one. The Cavaliers lead 7 3. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. He makes it to the 38-yard line. No gain. Third down. It's third and five. Ball on their own 38. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires to the wide out, first down. And he's tackled at about the 49. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Taken back three yards. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. He fights forward to about the 49. That's a gain of three on the play. That brings up third and ten. Virginia is up four. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks would get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football, but the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. Hudson is back deep to return. He really got a hold of that one. From the 15, he makes it to the 25-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made at about the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Oregon's got a guy behind center that can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet and his arm. With this guy, it's PYP. Pick your poison. Right 
First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. on the play. From their own 37-yard line, it's third down. Make the stop at about the 45. Barry to punt. Fielded at the 19. Room around the corner. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Virginia is up by four. There's a fumble. They fall on it. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 49. And they push him out at the 40. the toss left and he's tackled after positive yardage first down 10 to go ball on the 35 yard line down. Virginia holds a four-point lead. It's the tailback. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. some time knocked out of bounds right around the 10 yard line this is the eighth play of this drive they go with him again and he'll be taken down behind the line that was a loss of three yards Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Yeah. 
It's up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. From the eight-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Terrific effort to pick up the first down. He got total extension and was able to keep his hands between the ball and the turf. From their own 43-yard line, first down. He gets rid of this one. He heaves it deep. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy has been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down in the open field. A tight end that has this young man's skills is a real weapon for any offense. He can catch the ball, create mismatches, and force a defense to pay attention to him. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's looking for his man. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Quick throw. Brought down at the 28. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks away. And he nails the long field goal. Lewis is lined up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Virginia is up four. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. The Cavaliers lead 10 6. All right, Reese and David. Welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Hudson takes it at the 8. Gets out to about the 31. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Jacobs on the run. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it first and ten.
Room around the corner. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. The 10. And he scores. Touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A short three-play, 69-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 20. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's scrambling. They bring him down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 19. Three down, three down. Red, two, three, 15. Here's the give. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 26-yard line. At about the 27 yard line. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled in the open field. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Defense and their short yardage package. They'll bring him down at the two-yard line. mix it up and give the fullback the ball in goal line situations. If the big bruiser can't get you a couple of yards, you don't deserve to get in. And he adds the extra point. So that's a six play, 79 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Farrell has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seven. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. Wow, close game here. And up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the other's done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Nice run to the left there. 
That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's taken down at the 46. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. Four down, four down. Hey, check five, check five, five, six, five, six. And he's taken down right around the 36 yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. From the 36 yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled at about the 23 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Check three, check three, check three. Let's go. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Tackle made at the one-yard line. That brings him second and goal. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Touchdown, Oregon! <laughs> Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 24-yard line. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. And they make the stop at the 33. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. So we got man, man, man. Mark 6, 33, 33. Green 9, green 0. Makes it out to about the 43. First and 10, ball on the 43. Fires quickly to the tight end, and he's tackled right away. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Nice run there. Jones picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it third and three. So we're looking at another third down here. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Wicks was the intended receiver on the play. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Mark six, 33, 33. Black five, black five. Orange three, orange three. Kill, kill, 
kill. On the ground, left side. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's at the 20. Brought down at about the 19-yard line. From the 19-yard line, first down. Slings it. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. This is the tenth play of this drive. He gets out to about the six-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That brings him second and goal. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. 2017, Oregon. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He's level at the three-yard line. Gaining three yards. That makes it third and goal. The defense is trying to protect their lead, but the offense is threatening. It's third down from the three. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. He's tackled at the three. And the fullback plows ahead for maybe a yard. That brings us fourth and goal. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. At the very least, they've got to get into field goal range. Once they've done that, they can think about taking a few shots into the end zone. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Scrambling around. Tries to get around the corner. Decides to slide. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 22-yard line. It's second down. Fires it out. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. First down. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. Huge 
drop by the wide out here in the fourth quarter. Barry awaits the snap. And he just got drilled. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. He scrambled. Slides down to the ground. Picks up about nine on the scramble. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Man out, man out, man out, man out. Mark six, 33, 33. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And they bring him down at the 32. So it's first and ten after the big run. Makes it out to about the 19. some time and he dives forward they're eating up a lot of field on this drive I'm really impressed with their ball control so here's where we find out who wants it more first and goal touchdown Cavaliers Determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he hits the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. BYU and Utah square off in the battle for the beehive boot. The Utes, they want to be aggressive in the passing game, and they're off to a good start. First score of the game coming on the aerial strike. The Utes are on top, 7-0. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 27-20. Farrell looks ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. And he's taken down at the 26. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Throws and it's incomplete. Yeah, anytime a quarterback makes a throw like this, the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. The worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and you move on. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. They really need to pick up this third and long here in the fourth quarter. Less than three minutes in the game. Caught open field, and he tackles him hard at the 39. Game of 13 on the play. First down.
Runs left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Caught with room to work. To the 20. The 10. What a play. Brought down inside the 5. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. He's in trouble. Quick strike to the back. No good. He came so close to getting his feet in. I'll tell you, for a running back, that's a tough catch to pull in when you're not used to making sideline catches. Here's the eighth play of the series. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Got a man open. Touchdown. Here's the call from the referee. Delay of game, offense. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Morgan, ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Throws a bullet. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. A little over a minute in the game. Pulls it in, but he can't stay in bounds, and that'll be a loss. That makes it third and eleven. Three down, three down. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, one pick. Well, a lot of 
frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Hudson awaiting the return. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter now, tie football game. And if we're headed to overtime, I hope it's going to be as good as what we've seen through four quarters. He's scrambling, and he hits him hard at the 41. strike complete tackle made around the 47 yard line about six yards on the play it's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play third down and they need to get it inside the 44 he's got to throw it in a hurry just a tremendous play there late in the fourth quarter in a tie football game and now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime this punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position of this football game. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. This is what it all comes down to, right? This is why we love this game. Make the stop at the 25-yard line. Virginia will take their first time out of the half. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. And I think they're going to take one last shot at the end zone here. Throws it deep. Doesn't get there. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. From the 28-yard line, second down. And he's taken down around the 25-yard line. to his receiver. He's taken down at about the five-yard line. This quarterback definitely has some confidence in his arm, Kirk. It sure looks that way. That was well covered by the defense, and he still got it in there. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. to the receiver incomplete this quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen
Jacobs on the run, and down he goes at the five-yard line. So here we go. It's third and goal from the four, and this would break the tie. Finds the halfback in the end zone. Touchdown. you want to start off an overtime period to put the touchdown on the board and put the pressure now on them. They know they've got to match this touchdown if they want to stay alive. And he converts the extra point. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. about four yards on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Brought down at the two-yard line. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line they come out in a goal line set and he has it on the corner touchdown Cavs it's a nice touchdown but they still need the extra point to tie it up it's a lot of pressure on a kicker Never know about the jitters. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Set, check, check. Thunder. And he's tackled in the open field. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. First and ten. Ball on the ten. They try the right side. Good outside run there. The misdirection play gets some four yards. the PAT. From the 25-yard line, first down. And 
Brad, this corner just made a great play on the football. You wonder if he's starting to maybe get into the mindset of this quarterback, and maybe the quarterback's going to look in the other direction to try to come up with a completion. A little misdirection. Tackle at about the 25-yard line. Third and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Fires incomplete. Brad, I don't know about you, but it looked to me that they just miscommunicated. It looked like the wide receiver was going in one direction and the quarterback was throwing it another direction. You definitely need to get on the same page. his left gets it out to the halfback and they push him out at the 23 yard line that's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one Virginia 41 Oregon 34